is just one solution being brought to the table in the face of our ongoing drought and potentially deeper cuts to our Colorado River water supply. City of Phoenix leaders recently voted to move forward with plans to build this new facility that may be able to produce up to 60 million gallons of water a day. It was something Mayor Kate Gallego brought up during her State of the City address. I know you all understand the urgency too. Many of your companies have set ambitious water conservation and restoration goals. We will continue to bring new ideas to the table to be good partners. This will be a collaboration between the city of Phoenix and other Valley cities and water departments that will also use this water. So a study is happening right now and over the next few months to see exactly how that might work. Now the new facility and equipment will be built at an existing treatment plant that's on 91st Avenue kind of near the river bottom. This would cost in the billion, so getting the financials together would be the next step with help from the state and federal governments. Now, the design and construction could take about five or six years, and the water that will be used would have otherwise been treated and then sent into the Salt River. So this will just be a much different process. The goal is for the facility to be up and running by 2030. The process of using treated wastewater for drinking water is not necessarily a new concept. It's technically called potable water reuse. That's according to the EPA, and it goes through multiple levels of filtration before it actually winds up in your taps. The treatment processes, you know, the, you know, conceptually that we're talking about is uh, granule activated carbon, uh, ozone, ultra filtration, reverse osmosis. Um, all of those things would be used. Um, in unison to be able to treat to a level um, that, 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 are, that is safe to drink. Now, if some of this does sound familiar, I was looking through some of our old stories and back in 2016, Arizona's family did do a story about a brewery down in Tucson. There was a statewide competition using purified wastewater in beer. Now, keep in mind, this was seven years ago and the hope at the time was that they wanted to hopefully change perceptions just about the idea of this, the concept, and they hoped it could go a long way in protecting our state's water supplies. You can read more about the plans on our website. That's azfamily.com. Whitney, in the newsroom, I'll send it back to you.